Hi, Kevin. <laughs> it's Brenda. <laughs> oh, hi, Brenda. Um, is Vicky joining us today? Yeah, in half an hour. This is a morning okay. lesson. Okay, I'm sorry. You folks have a blessed day. <laughs> you can stay, if you want. Okay, thank you. Hey. So, lesson 157, yes, 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 into his presence, <clears throat> would I enter now, <laughs> oh my God. I just want to stay serious in here. Oh, God. <clears throat> I'm done. <laughs> Chantal? Yes. Mm. Into his presence, I would enter now. Mm. Would anyone else would like to say that line? Into his presence, would I enter now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Into his presence will I enter now. Mm. Into his presence would I enter now. Into his presence, I enter now. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Into his presence would I enter now. This is a day of silence and of trust. It is a special time of promise in your calendar of days. 
it is a time heaven has set apart to shine upon and cast a timeless light upon this day when echoes of eternity are heard. This day is holy for it ushers in a new experience a different kind of feeling and awareness. You have spent long days and nights in celebrating death. Today, you learn to feel the joy of life. Into his presence, would I enter now? This is another critical turning point in the curriculum. We add a new dimension now fresh experience that sheds a light on all we have learned already and prepares us for what we have yet to learn. It brings us to the door where learning ceases and we catch a glimpse of what lies past, the highest reaches it can possibly attain. It leaves us there an instant, and we go beyond it, sure of our direction and our only goal. Into his presence would I enter now. Today, it will be given you to feel a touch of heaven. Though you will return to paths of learning, yet you have come far enough along the way to alter time sufficiently to rise above its laws and walk into eternity a while. This you will learn to do increasingly is every lesson faithfully rehearsed, brings you more swiftly to this holy place and leaves you for a moment to yourself. Into his presence would I enter now. You will direct your practicing today for what you ask for now is what he wills. And having joined your will with his this day, what you are asking must be given you. Nothing is needed but today's idea to light your mind and let it rest in still anticipation and in quiet joy, wherein you quickly leave the world behind. Into his presence would I enter now. From this day forth, your ministry takes on a genuine devotion and a glow that travels from your fingertips to those you touch. 
touch and blesses those you look upon. A vision reaches everyone you meet and everyone you think of or who thinks of you. For your experience today will so transform your mind that it becomes the touchstone for the holy thoughts of God. Into his presence would I enter now. Your body will be sanctified today, its only purpose being now to bring the vision of what you experience this day to light the world. We cannot give experience like this directly, yet it leaves a vision in our eyes which we can offer everyone, that he may come the sooner to the same experience in which the world is quietly forgotten and heaven is remembered for a while. Into his presence, I would enter now. As this experience increases, and so I hope I'm on the right paragraph. As this experience increases and all goals, only this become of little worth. The world to which you will return becomes a little closer to the end of time, a little more like heaven in its ways, a little nearer in its deliverance. And you, who bring it light, will come to see the light more sure, the vision more distinct. The time will come when you will not return in the same form in which you now appear, for you will have no need of it. Yet now it has a purpose and will serve it well. Into his presence would I now enter. Today we will embark upon a course you have not dreamed of. But the Holy One, the giver of the happy dreams of life, translator of perception into truth, the Holy Guide to Heaven given you, has dreamed for you this journey which you make and start today with the experience this day holds out to you to, to be your own. 
into his presence would I now enter. Into Christ's presence will we enter now. Surely unaware of everything, everything except his shining face and perfect love. <clears throat> Into Christ's presence will we enter now. The vision of his face will stay with you. But there will be an instant which transcends all vision, even this, the holiest. <laughs> this you will never teach, for you attained it not through learning. Yet the vision speaks of your remembrance of what you knew that instant and will surely know again. Mm. Into his presence would I enter now. Christ shows us very gently two worlds gently moves and reveals two worlds reveals his peace his love there is no pressure or force gently shows us his presence hmm. Mm. 
in the depth of his presence, we can see the ego and the mm, gentleness of Christ. There is no attachment. There is a vision of entering in to choice of our heart. He is always close. He is closer than we know. Closer than our breath. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. <clears throat> Beautiful. Mm. Into his presence. <clears throat> what I enter now. Today is a day of silence and of trust. Beautiful. Mm. Thank you, darlings. A beautiful morning into his presence. Did we enter now? <laughs> Have a beautiful day or night. I will see you all very soon. Ding. Thank you. Love you. Thank you, guys. So beautiful. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you.